Sierra Space has announced that its new space plane called the Dream Chaser Tenacity is finally ready for testing after years of development. And now more than ever, NASA is rushing to finalize preparations for the imminent launch of the next space plane into orbit. Collaborating with Sierra Space, the agency is actively engaged in conducting crucial tests on Dream Chaser before its official deployment. Recently, they unveiled numerous new details regarding the progress of these tests, unveiling intriguing developments. How exactly is NASA conducting these tests on its new space plane, and when can we expect its launch? On today's episode, Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. We are getting into the latest space news, including Dream Chaser is finally ready for launch. Let's take a closer look at Dream Chaser and how it could become the preferred craft for orbital travel in the coming years. The CEO of Sierra Space expressed excitement, noting that going into the ocean is not enjoyable, but landing on a runway is a pleasant experience. This sentiment resonates with many, and now it could become a reality for space travelers. Sierra Space's impressive accomplishment, the Dream Chaser, is close to turning this dream into a reality after more than a decade of development and overcoming various challenges. Dream Chaser stands as a revolutionary breakthrough in space technology, earning the distinction of being the world's sole commercial space plane with the capability to land on runways. With substantial backing from NASA, including a significant contract, for International Space Station resupply missions, Dream Chaser has undergone meticulous planning, technical expertise, and rigorous testing over decades. The completion of the first test article marks a significant milestone for Sierra Space, bringing Dream Chaser closer to its highly anticipated maiden flight scheduled for April next year. On May 31, 2023, the company achieved a groundbreaking milestone by successfully powering up the space plane within their assembly facility. This accomplishment included providing electrical power to the vehicle, a function usually performed by its solar panels in space. The team activated flight computers and other crucial components, signifying a noteworthy achievement in the development process. Tom Weiss, the chief executive of Sierra Space, underscored the significance of this achievement, describing it as a pivotal moment in Dream Chaser's extensive journey. He expressed his excitement, emphasizing the importance of this test in advancing the development of the space plane. Looking forward, the company is preparing for the next phase of testing. The initial Dream Chaser, named Tenacity, is set to be transported to NASA's Neil Armstrong Test Facility in Ohio, formerly known as Plum Brook Station. Over the next two to three months, engineers will undertake rigorous tests to assess the space plane's resilience. These tests will encompass evaluating its capacity to endure the intense vibrations and acoustics encountered during a rocket launch, as well as the extreme temperatures it will face during flight. Before its final launch preparations at Cape Canaveral, the space plane will go through a crucial testing phase inside a massive thermal vacuum chamber. While Sierra Space has not provided a specific timeline for these milestones, Jenna Cavandi, the president of Sierra Space, shared some details during a panel discussion at the 38th Space Symposium in April. According to Cavandi, Dream Chaser is set to be transported to the test facility in July. There, the vehicle will undergo rigorous testing for several months before being shipped to Florida for the final launch preparations. Cavandi expressed confidence, aiming to be fully prepared for launch by the end of the year. Physically, the first Dream Chaser spacecraft designed for orbital missions, is making significant progress. You can add the Dream Chaser space plane to the list of new vehicle launches in the first quarter of 2024, as the small shuttle-like orbiter and its shooting star cargo module have begun final preparations at NASA's Neil Armstrong Testing Facility in Ohio. The announcement of the vehicle's arrival on November 30th by creator Sierra Space marked the beginning of the last group of trials for their vehicle, which has been in development since 2010. The Neil Armstrong Test Facility is where NASA ensures prototype vehicles have the fortitude to withstand the rigors of space travel, from launch all the way to the heat of re-entry. The 6,400-acre site is home to some of the largest simulation equipment in the world, and it's all used to see if a new spaceship is ready for use in orbit. In the case of the Dream Chaser, the almost 30-foot-long Tenacity cargo variant will be stacked in a launch configuration, which includes the 15-foot-long Shooting Star cargo module. While connected, both vehicles will undergo environmental testing in the facility's thermal vacuum chamber, as well as a couple of rounds in the mechanical vibration facility, 
a simulator that subjects prototypes to forces similar to those encountered during launch. It's basically just an enormous shaker table. If the pair of spacecraft manage to survive these tests, the next step is inspections and the process of fitting the uncrewed craft into a fairing for launch. So, we are very close to seeing Dream Chaser actually fly. The original idea for Dream Chaser started even further back in 2004, long before the original shuttles had been retired. It took some years before Sierra Space even entered the picture, but once they did, they very quickly modeled the Dream Chaser concept into an updated replacement for the original shuttles. From 2012 onwards, Sierra Space and their partners got to work creating what we see today, creating test articles and conducting their own tests to get it flight ready. In that time, the team has created an extremely robust space plane with a cargo and crewed variant, thermal tiles that are lighter, stronger, and more advanced than the ones on the shuttles, and multiple modules designed to attach on the rear of the craft, and can inflate to form a huge habitation area or store more cargo. This cargo module is the Shooting Star, which can be used to transport both pressurized and non-pressurized payloads and as deployable solar panels to provide extra power generation, which cargo missions occasionally require. Both Dream Chaser and its modules are made to fit inside a standard 5-meter fairing, a size that most conventional rockets can handle, or at least the heavy lift rockets that can actually get Dream Chaser into orbit. NASA wanted the system to work on any heavy lift rocket for redundancy, so that's why the whole thing folds up as tightly as it does. The very first flight of Dream Chaser was intended to be on the ULA's new Vulcan rocket, but delays with completing both projects caused some setbacks. Most of us are familiar with Vulcan's trouble and the Blue Origin made before engine saga, but Dream Chaser was also a bit of a handful. Those thermal tiles are so advanced that they frankly could use their own episode to cover, but just the installation of them took years. This timing was likely as much a product of the team being unfamiliar with the new tiles as it was the complexity, but it was a major factor in the construction time of the first vehicle called Tenacity. This year and the early months of the next are pivotal for both NASA and Sierra Space as they accelerate their Dream Chaser project. Every detail must be meticulously prepared for the inaugural flight of the space plane next year. Among the crucial tests, testing stands out as the pivotal step. Shortly after its unveiling at the Colorado headquarters on November 2, Sierra Space swiftly transported its vehicle to NASA's test facility in Sandusky, Ohio, situated 96 kilometers away. By November 30th, they announced via a tweet that the Shooting Star module had reached the test facility and commenced initial environmental tests. These comprehensive evaluations are essential preparations for the spacecraft's main admission of resupplying the ISS. Environmental testing holds immense significance, validating the reliability of both the space plane and cargo module in challenging conditions. This bears heightened importance as Dream Chaser embarks on its inaugural mission. Consequently, the testing process demands meticulous care and thoroughness, anticipated to span one to three months. Notably, the vibration and heat tests will take precedence as the most critical evaluations. Recently, a clearer insight into vibration testing emerged. On December 14, Sierra Space unveiled the initial images on X, showcasing Dream Chaser poised for vertical stacking and launch configuration with Shooting Star. These two vehicles are gearing up to endure the rigorous conditions of launch vibrations. The image depicts Dream Chaser being vertically positioned within a hangar frame beneath the multiple shelves with tall scaffolding nearby, likely utilized by engineers working on the prototype. Although the cargo module shooting star is invisible yet, it's anticipated to join Dream Chaser soon for the vibration test. Notably, Dream Chaser's two wings are neatly folded back in the picture, representing its posture when placed within Vulcan's 5-meter diameter payload compartment. NASA specifies that this vibration test aims to acclimate the vehicle to launch vibrations, given their confinement inside Vulcan's compartment powered by two B-4 engines capable of generating intense vibrations. These vibrations are anticipated not only during launch, but also during the atmosphere re-entry phase. Post the vibration test, Sierra Space will transition to the subsequent phase, thermal testing. On December 16, they confirmed this via a tweet stating, Following vibration testing, Dream Chaser will be moved to the propulsion facility for thermal vacuum testing to simulate the spacecraft's mission environment at the space station. NASA's documentation elaborates further, Dream Chaser will undergo vacuum conditions, 
experiencing low ambient pressures, low background temperatures, and replicated dynamic solar heating, replicating the conditions the spacecraft will encounter during its mission. The thermal testing process will scrutinize the vehicle's capabilities throughout critical stages, notably during atmosphere re-entry. For the space plane, this phase is particularly vital as it relies on heat-resistant bricks. Herschel not just for vehicle safety, but also to showcase Dream Chaser's reusability, a cornerstone of Sierra Space's objectives. While these tests hold significance, there likely remains a host of other essential evaluations yet to be unveiled by Sierra Space and NASA. Upon completion, Dream Chaser and its module will transition to NASA's Kennedy Space Center, preparing for an early next year launch. The inaugural flight, named SNC Demo 1, is slated for launch in April of 2024 under the Commercial Resupply Services 2 contract, awarded to Sierra Space by NASA in 2016. This contract mandates at least seven uncrewed Dream Chaser flights to resupply the ISS, rendering this first flight pivotal as a foundational benchmark for subsequent missions. Success here would significantly elevate Sierra Space and Dream Chaser's status, setting a solid footing for future prototypes, especially crewed ones, and positioning Dream Chaser as a formidable contender against industry leaders like SpaceX's Dragon. Dream Chaser's ambitions extend beyond NASA missions, aiming to compete with Dragon across various fronts, including private commercial launch contracts. However, this delay significantly impacts Dream Chaser. Scheduled to launch on Vulcan's second flight, the delay compresses the preparation time for both vehicles. Moreover, uncertainties loom over Vulcan's successful launch, posing potential challenges for both ULA and Sierra Space. Despite the delay and the ULA rocket, Dream Chaser's schedule remains unchanged. In the worst-case scenario, if Vulcan encounters issues, the two companies will face a mere three-month window, possibly inadequate for resolving all impending concerns. Apart from rigorous testing, Sierra Space will closely monitor ULA Vulcan's first flight, fervently hoping for a seamless launch. The success of Vulcan's flight will dictate the course ahead. With luck, we'll witness the long-awaited return of a space plane in operation after more than a decade since the space shuttle's last flight. Sierra Space and Dream Chaser are poised to face a series of challenges in the days ahead, spanning the period before, during, and after the upcoming flight. These challenges serve as essential litmus tests, scrutinizing the genuine capabilities of this space plane. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And if you want to support our channel and if you want to be up to date, you can become an exclusive member. So click on our perks through the link in the description below. Thanks to watching and see you next time. By the way, are you familiar Talk Talk Philippines app? Talk Talk is a delivery service app designed to connect more people by delivering items door to door. For more information, download the TalkTalk Talk app, here down below.